right. You're watching the number one adventure show, Hooked on Utah, powered by Ford. Hey, welcome to Hooked on Utah. You know, today we're out here at Wasatch Wing and Clay. It's the Nastra Best of the West Triple Triple Challenge. This is where some of the very best dogs in the West are gonna show you what makes them a champion. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's adventure. This is Tick. He's a three and a half year old English setter. This is Raz. Raz is our regional champion last year. Beautiful dog, kind of hard headed, but we'll see how she does. So all the dogs have to place first, second, or third to qualify to get to the regionals. And once they get to the regionals, we have a big, uh, big two day trial, and they all get to go, and then the it, determines the champion, the winner is the champion of the region, and then they, they get to go to the national. Good boy, Tick, whoa. That's a terrible time. I can't even see this direction. These windshield wipers. Go in and flush the wheel, it ain't. We'll call it safety. This little setter's nice. So. Tell me what goes into preparing your dog for an event like this. Well, fitness to me is first and foremost. Um, I like to road him. I have tick pull 16 pounds of chain uh, twice a week, and then I run him without chain twice a week so that he's fit and he can cover the field like he does. Um, and then we, we do a lot of training with with steadiness, boy, which he didn't really show very well today, but uh, we have done a lot of work on it. <laughs> well, sometimes it's the luck of the draw with the sure. brace that you get because the, the dog that you were running against wasn't being run by his owner, right? and he just decided that he was out for himself, and mm -hmm. so that can affect the way your dog performs Whoa. as well. Absolutely, and Raz was, uh, Raz is a good dog, but he's either gonna win or DQ. That's how he is. Whoa, kick. God. Whoa. Whoa. Uh uh. Whoa. Whoa. But under the conditions and Whoa. stuff, I like what Tick did. For the most part, he he, he obeyed. He, he he should get a decent obedience score. He did uh, he did a lot of things right. Um, I don't like Whoa. the fact that he he creeped in on a couple birds after he established point. That's going to cost Throw me. It. Just call safety unless you can catch it and throw it. Whoa. Okay, throw it. Fetch. If you can see that bird, Brett, and it's moving, you yell out that bird's moving. Then your flush is over with. Okay, I, yeah, I, I didn't fetch. know what to do there. I've never had this before, so. Drop. Good boy. Get up. Go, get up. Uh, the first dog that was entered in this brace was disqualified. He was out of bounds for 10 minutes. So let him go. So that means we have to disqualify him. They bring in a bye dog to make it a competition again. The bye dog can't win, but in essence, it doesn't give the other dog the whole field to himself. Birds moving. Yeah, well, I got you. Okay. Well. Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter located throughout Utah. Mountain America Credit Union, supporting your home, your business, your life. The Ready Project, live life ready at home and in the outdoors. 
Goal Zero, renewable energy solutions anywhere. Big O Tires, the team you trust on and off our western roads. And Browning Firearms, always the best there is. This summer, you could be enjoying the relaxing atmosphere of Lake Powell, all from a 70-foot houseboat courtesy of Hooked on Utah and Mountain America Credit Union. To enter, go to macu.com forward slash Hooked on Utah to register your Mountain America visa, debit, or credit card into the contest. And every time you use it between January 5th and March 31st, 2013, you'll receive an entry to win the free houseboat rental. Don't have a Mountain America visa card? Sign up for one, and we'll see you at the lake. We're Hooked on Utah. You know the feeling, the rush out there. The only thing that matters is what's inside. Federal premium ammunition. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse location or sportsmanswarehouse.com. Have you ever had a dead cell phone? Yes, I have. And does it suck? It sucks a lot. What kind of phone do you have? iPhone. It's an HTC Desire. Mine's an Android. A Droid X. What we got here is a solar panel. Charge your phone as fast as a wall. Charging? What? Charging. <laughs> You're charging, man. Pretty quick, huh? Sweet. Wow. See that? Is this life changing? It is life changing. Yes. It's truck month at Utah's number one Ford truck dealer, Kengar Ford. Big rebates, good inventory, good selection, huge discounts. At Kengar Ford at American Fork, KengarFord.com to your local sportsman's warehouse and get geared up for your next adventure. The high end is the Browning Maxxis. Absolutely love this gun for all of the features that it has to offer, from the Duratouch to the safety features to just how soft this gun shoots. To train your dog correctly, you need Tritronics. It's my collar of choice. Hey, nothing is worse than having wet feet. Stop into sportsman's warehouse and pick up one of these killer Danner boots. Your feet will love you for it. Stop into sportsman's warehouse. They have all the Browning gear. You're going to look good in the field. Drop. Get up. Bird's moving. I see it. Whoa. Wait, wait. We got a bat. Safety. That's one of the things we score them on is how they cover the ground and this dog's doing well at it. Doing good. I'd like to find one more. They're already in third place. Don't Se be greedy. Second brace. <laughs> Only 14 more to go. We're out here at Wasatch Wing and Clay. It doesn't get any better than this. Tons of snow, tons of birds. We've got Confimulinar with Ford. Got my boys. Brock, Carson, actually it's Braxton, Carson, Brock. Okay, be ready, Brock. It'll be in one of these. Oh, shoot, that was Brock. Oh, gosh, that was fast, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> I guess you want two guns in a row? <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? Well, that'll be a guaranteed prize. Show that bird, Con. Nice melanistic first one of the day. Four yeah. Up a great point. Beautiful. Dark purple, got great colors. These are gorgeous birds. This is a guaranteed prize in this event, so ton of fun. Yeah, right there on the back side, Con. She's locked up solid. Okay, boys, remember your shooting lanes. Nothing to your left, everything to your right. There it is. 
That was a fast shot. Had a great point working in the snow to find those birds tucked in tight. We got 30 minutes in the whole brace and we're 14 minutes into it. You can pull him off there, Brent, and he'll leave. Go ahead and do it. That dog's out of his field. Do I pull him off of that? That's a different bird. Okay. Whoa. 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 Bird's moving. Yep. Whoa. I got you. Okay. Whoa. Fetch. Fetch. He did well. He's uh he's in first place now, but it's only the second brace of the day. But he did well. It was a pretty good performance. But all in all, I, I I can't be dissatisfied with with what Tick did today. How does this cross over to hunting? Well. This is a game, and that's something I had to really learn when I first started doing Nastra is, is um, that uh, it's a game. I mean, you're out there to compete. And I'm a competitor, I love to compete. And Tick is too, fortunately for me. He loves to compete too. So, uh, as far as crossing over to hunting, um, hunting is very relaxing, and we do it at a, at a different pace. And the dog will settle in on a day's hunt, and he'll run um, at a mediocre Whoa. pace. Whoa. Um, in this, he runs pretty much full bore for 30 minutes. You went to shoot and then you got in between shells, which is the fun of this because it's so exciting. Bird's going up, you're all pumped up, and he short stroked his pump. And... Now look at the dog, under control, at his heel, just walking back in. I'm Karen Coleman, Doug Miller's daughter. Tonight, my dad fights some big waves, going after big halibut. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> you can tell right off we're not after panfish. 50 miles out of Homer, Alaska, near the Barren Islands, in big seas and in search of big halibut. Look at some of these rollers coming in today. It's a challenge just to stay on the boat. That was crazy. It was like two things at once. and Trying to stay on the boat and trying to get the fish into the boat. It's insane. We were fishing aboard the Bourne 3, and the seas were big enough that day that instead of anchoring in a prime spot, Captain Jared Bradshaw, who makes his home in Utah during the off-season, used the engines to hold us in place. The weather kept us out of barn door size halibut on this trip, but we were into limits of smaller fish, and just corralling some of these small halibut can be a handful. She's a field trial champion, an amateur field trial champion, and a master hunter. And we started doing Nastra series last year. He won the best of West last year. What do you do to help him achieve his potential? A lot of birds, wild birds, um, a lot of training. He's one of the broke dogs here. Try to keep him broke to wing shot and fall. And just a lot of hunting. And a lot of these clubs have excellent guys in there that'll help you out and do whatever you, they can to help your dog. All right, so that's absolutely beautiful. Hoop, hoop, gosh, hoop, whoop. So as you can see, folks, this dog hasn't even taken hoop. a step. He's just rock solid right here. Hoop. This bob white quail's up and moving. He's gonna flush it. <laughs> gonna retrieve it now. Here, 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 here. Hoop. Beautiful retrieve, here, beautiful here, point. Here. That's what you get with a dog when you spend the time working him out. Now look at the dog under control, at his heel, just walking back in. So if you want your dog to perform like Crash, you know, come out to the Nasher events. Get to know a few of the guys like this that uh, know what they're doing. They've got great dogs. They can give you some tips and they can also help you fine tune your dog. But it takes time, it takes a lot of work and patience. But you know what, your dog's capable of that type of performance if you put the time and energy into the field. Okay, okay. Oh. Beautiful dog. Thank you.
Mini. She's a two-time champion. She's really awesome. If she stays in the field. As long as I can shoot, I think Doc Walt will do the rest. Go. Good luck. Be careful. Whoa. Back Whoa. scored from zero to seventy-five. Now the dog's taking a few steps, and those are those are minus points. Those are deductions. But she saw the other dog fairly quickly. Now she sees the bird, and hopefully she holds point. Now she's Whoa. Uh, that was probably around a sixty-nine back. Whoa. She saw it, took a couple steps, brought her head up, brought her tail up. Now she's got a little more intensity. Whoa because she sees the bird, but she's moving a little bit more. So those are deductions. Was that, was that wall too many? You're going to wait till they get that Brittany held, please, but the bird is your find. Okay. Whoa. The bird's just to the right of the Brittany. Whoa. Whose find is it? Your, uh, the short hairs. Whoa. Minnie back, but the bird's just to her right. Whoa, she's man. looking at it right whoa. now. Whoa. Minnie, whoa. So the backing, the dog of the Ooh. handler of the backing dog has to hold. Whoop, whoop. Bird's moving, Kip. The backing Woman. dog Whoa. so that the Binny, handler Binny, of the pointing dog can work the bird. He'll flush it now and then shoot it and Whoa. his dog will make a retrieve. Girl. Once the bird leaves its resting place, which is now, he can fire. Safe. He called safety. Hill, oh. hill, hill. I'm not sure why he called safety. But now the dog's making the retrieve. Pretty good compared to how he handled for me yesterday. He listened a lot better today. Yesterday he uh, took off into the field and had to go chase him, but say I have to chase him. He listened well. He's looking for style, intensity, um, obedience ground coverage, oh. how well they hunt for you, um, how well they're actually your partner. Braxton, you come up this outside and be ready. Hey, be ready. Be ready because there's more in here. And you know what's so much fun about this is you, you know, just the excitement. You remember the energy as a young kid getting all pumped up when that bird goes up. Great setting conditions, but also sometimes those birds will bury under the snow and they get a little wet. Nice end today. So if it's down there, is it out of bounds? It's probably out of bounds. What's up with your car? Mm, I had a little maintenance done. Right, but it's glowing. Yeah, Randy says it's good karma. It's what you get when you do something nice for your car, like take it to Big O Tires. Cool. You should go to Big O. At Big O, we install more than tires, brakes, and oil. We install good karma. And right now, get an instant $75 off for select tires. And use your Service Central credit card to double your savings. Big O Tires, the team you trust. It's matchup month at your local Ford stores. When the top seeds go head-to-head, -head, Ford beats Toyota in fuel economy in every segment they both compete. Focus comes out on top. EPA rated up to 40 MPG highway. Buy now and get zero for 60 or up to 2,500 cash back. Fusion wins this bracket. Get up to 1,500 cash back or lease one for just $229 a month. Ford wins on the road with impressive MPG. These offers won't last long. Visit your local Ford store today. Get the dream car and the dream rate. Right now at Mountain America, auto loan rates are as low as 2.74 APR for both new and used vehicles. Apply for your auto loan today at the nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. Utah Sportsman Properties offers premier adventure estates with exclusive fishing and hunting access in the most scenic locations here in Utah and beyond. Many property listings don't last because they are family-friendly recreation sites, fully developed and available right now as profit-earning acquisitions already acclaimed in the hospitality industry. Some are complete with caretaker and employee lodging, as well as five-star accommodations for guests who want a one-stop adventure. Utah Sportsman Properties has the ultimate destination for your next family business venture.
guys ready, Braxton? Creep up here. I shot one, finally. Three yeah, tries and I finally got one. Lighted? Yeah. Yay. Wow, the, the forced enthusiasm. Yay. It's right there. It's right there. Nice shot. There you go. Lightning fast. That's how I do. Leave it. Here. Good shot, whoever got that. Whoa. Hey! Whoa! Each of the individual finds will be scored differently, depending on how well your dog hits the find, how they stand. And then retrieves, it's going to be the same thing, uh, how, how fast they go out and pick up the bird and how, whoa, how snappy they are coming back to you and give it to you. Once again, the backing handler of the backing dog has to hold his dog until the handler of the flush. Off to your left, Maureen. Now she's got it spotted, she'll make the flush. Safety! Yeah, these birds have gotten wet with all the snow and they have a hard time flying, so the handler doesn't want to endanger the dog. Come here. Another way is if they're scooping birds, if they're not uh, if they're not holding point, they're just going in and just taking the bird right on out. That's the fastest way to get DQ'd. Uh, a lot of interference from another dog with your dog will get the other dog uh, disqualified. There you go. Found a bird, found a couple birds. Uh, one of them retrieved, backed on another. Yeah, he's my dad's dog. He's uh, about a year and a half old. He's uh, got a come on, come on. brother and sister that we come out here with, and dad stayed home. Daddy dog stayed home. He's getting a little older. Man, he's going to relocate because it's two minutes right. Okay. Just uh, give him a tap and let him go. Now, yes. Yeah. Hold on to a marine. There you can see that. The snow's tough. It beds down the birds. Whoa. It beds down the scent. I mean, there's a little bit of a breeze, Whoa. which is it was just good. But uh, as far as the, for the hunter, I mean, it was better today than it was yesterday. Yesterday Whoa. was pretty windy. Uh, a little colder, Whoa. but yeah, in general, the snow makes it a little tougher. But the okay. dogs are good. They they sniff them out a little bit. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. Good to be outside, get out, get outdoors with the dogs, and watch them work. It's a, it's a beauty to watch them. So if it's down there, is it out of bounds? It's probably out of bounds. Out of bounds. Down there is out of bounds. Okay. So you can just leave it or whatever you want to do. You can pull him off, or okay. it don't count. It doesn't count either way. Okay, fine. Bitty bird. No. Whoa. Bitty bird. Whoa. Come. It comes up. Come just Go. No bird. Shoot no bird. It. No bird. No bird. Go to bird. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to it. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed today's adventure. You know what? Maureen, we got to run with you. Watch your dog run. She did a great job. How can people get involved if they want to bring their pointing dog out to one of the NASTRA events? There's several options. You can go on to nastra.org, find out when the trial schedule is. You can go on to Utah Bird Dogs. That's probably our best website, utahbirddogs.com. And Casey like does the Facebook page. That's my daughter, Casey. Awesome. Okay, like the Nastra Utah Facebook page. Hey, remember, folks, you know what? If you've got a bird dog, there's no reason to not be out here learning, improving your skills, your dog's skills, and using that dog for what it was bred for. Hope you've enjoyed today's adventure. It's been a ton of fun for us. Hey, same time, same channel, whole new adventure next week. We're Hooked on Utah.